So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges. Uh, this one is going to be shorter because I will not be previewing Eververse just because uh, I did that for my Eververse showcase for uh, Festival of the Lost. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll have it in the in the description below and in the pinned comment section. But let's look at the seasonal challenges real quick. So first and foremost, aggressive cartography. Complete a legendary branch of Shattered Realm. This one's not going to be too hard depending on what light level you are and if you are good at these type of things. Um, I'm excited to try this just to see if, how hard it is. This is probably just going to be like, it's going to hit harder and maybe a, a few more champions here and there. Other than that, I don't expect this to be that crazy. Shattered Blade Master, defeat combatants with swords in Shattered Realm activity. Defeating powerful combatants grants bonus progress. This was not hard. I probably wouldn't recommend you do, to do this with the legendary branch. Um, but if you want to go, go at it. I mean, you could use a sword for the for the circle champions i forget what their name what their name is uh for display of authority acquire the gambit ornament for ascendancy this one's going to take a while because unfortunately even after you get the rocket launcher from another activity you it it still drops the rocket launcher so you have to do it all over again that's very unfortunate uh for ruthless ley liner complete the astral alignment activity and destroy ether this one's not hard you just have to get lucky and get the actual activity to do that one uh, for this one, it's fusion rifle and sword calibration. Calibrate fusion rifles and swords. Earn bonus progress against opposing guardians. This one's not going to be too hard as well. Just use fusion rifles and swords. If you want to be scummy for PvP, you could use a fusion rifle of your choice. And you could use the Black Talon. That one's a really good one for PvP because people will hate you. Uh, but if you want to do this like in PvE, then you can literally use anything you want. If anything, you could probably combine this one with the Shattered Blade Master, so that way you can double dip on these two. And if you're doing the Aggressive Cartographer, then you'll be double dipping on all of these. Last but not least, Pinnacle. Reach power level 1330 by earning powerful rewards on or and Prime Ingrams. This one, not gonna lie, might be a little annoying for you guys. Uh, the only reason I have it is because I have been running a lot of Vault of Glass this season. So I I ended up getting it just from Vault of Glass because I haven't been running all of my my pinnacles. Like I don't do the Nightfalls, I don't do the Europa stuff, I don't do a lot of stuff. So for me, well, that's weird. For me, that's what I was running to, to like complete that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will have the Eververse video in the pinned comment section. So if you guys want to see that video, definitely check it out. But be safe, guys, and I'll see you guys later.